of them right of the nominees so no no i'm 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 quite uh, I, you know for me since i i believe that i'm an artist uh, uh, as an actor i just yes <laughs> um and uh, honestly i just i just feel uh, especially for women in the field of art uh, i i know i know that it's male dominated i i can i know it and sometimes um you know as women i feel because we are so sensitive and we have i i mean i always feel like when you go through um a lot of discrimination or you go through things in life you become a better artist and i feel women honestly to me are better artists uh because of it and uh, like uh, ma'am said that you know we shouldn't discriminate between women and men because these women are actually uh, pioneers in the field of art itself it has nothing to do with the fact it doesn't have nothing to do with their gender at all right so it's quite awesome i would like to mention that you know when we are discriminating and this it is a society where we do yeah. put people in pockets oh. but here is a transgender Yes, so absolutely. that is even more, more the um, kind right. of a challenge a yeah. transgender faces yes absolutely and uh, i think it's quite um, i i'm i was actually quite moved uh, by the fact that uh, kalki has been nominated and she's been recognized you know on a public public platform as a woman and she's been nominated for the work she's been doing which i think is outstanding so kudos to you guys amazing thank you i need to bet on that one no that's amazing no debate okay amazing. fine Let's uh, Sonam, the nominees in the field of education. Oh, okay. You have that list. Yes, I do have that list. Uh, and uh, thank you for giving me the education one. Uh, it's my favorite. Um, women who have strengthened our education system with new ideas, engaging techniques, and learning networks. There is Shaheen Mistri, Pranshu Bhandari Patni, Safina Hussain, and Farida Lambe. Okay, so. Four, four nominees there in the field of education. Yes. So uh, it was actually um, then we had some debate uh, in this yes. category, yes. and uh, I'd let Belinda speak about it first. Oh, I need my my okay. books. I think you better do. Okay. It. So uh, we have uh, Shaheen Mistri. Shaheen Mistri, as you know, is uh, you know started the Akanksha Foundation and also Teach for India. and today teach for india has a presence in over 6 cities in the country also encourages a lot of young people to participate in the process of educating the underprivileged children so we thought that that was uh, you know a great nomination for education anyone wants to add on pranshu uh, maybe dr dalal yeah, yeah. Sure. again like science and technology it is a field of innovation the work of almost all of them especially stri mukti sangathana i have worked already with jagmati has been a comrade and colleague in every struggle that we have gone uh, to haryana to deal with khap panchayats so i think this was a really very interesting and very difficult category to choose yeah. because we had really everybody was as important and has made Who? as important contribution and amla amla ruya well amla so, yes uh, creating the check dams check dams and water, water harvesting and how uh, irrigating yes. and employing people and the agriculture yes. production going up yes. etc so it was quite a holistic like spread yeah. irrigation right. water yes. making it available to everyone yeah So I'm anything to add as we move on to environment. I I feel like I'm not doing much with my life <laughs> <laughs> at this point. But there's a lot of your life ahead so we'll we'll give you things to do in each one of these yes, categories. Yes, I know, I know. Yes. One month in each of them <laughs> at least up. at least in that this category yes. you have to come. In particular to. <laughs> we'll take you to meet somebody from the another cup panchayats whenever you want. <laughs> Say when. You have no idea what I'm capable of saying and doing. <laughs> Are you on? Is that a dessert at the end? You have no idea. <laughs> yes, right. but yes. Done. I'm going to hold you to that. I'm going to hold you to that. Yes. I want to. I'm going to take that. One of my that. shows. I want to say something. The cup and chai. This date comes <coughs> up to me, and that's actually strange. How in some of those areas, mm. yeah. the women are the people who are speaking on the other side. Mm. So she comes up to me, and I think you were there, Ranjan. I'm not yes. sure. Yes. Yes. She walks yes. up to my table, bangs on my table, yes. comes up there, sits on my table, bangs on it, and says, "To bear a merry bar soon," yeah. and then exactly. tells us why women should be discriminated against. So. There you are. I've 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 so Sonam's going to come and fight with them. No, now. I've I've gone through that uh, but, very very but recently actually. But you know actually. Sonam that you are not supposed to even uh, climb on that chabutra where all these khap men sit. You know, so it's very important that you come so we'll all empty the space and you can come on the chabutra. Yeah, that's a, that actually psychologically it might yes, be really difficult. Yes, so. so okay, we're going to take you up on that. Yes, we need to get intimidated. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's that's another thing. Yes. 
All right, Belinda, yeah. environment. Okay, so this is about um, eco-revolutionaries, environment. So, a lot of discussion in this so category. I yes. think they're all like... Belinda basically leading for it, which is great. Oh. Especially Harshwanti. Oh. No, but Belinda wasn't climbed. particularly swinging it towards the tiger's tiger <laughs> front. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm noticing none, none of them working in the one, field of one tigers. One of them was tiger, tiger uh, reserve person. Yeah. Yeah. I discussing Belinda, you recall, is the fact whether how much uh, uh, any any project which is coming up is an issue because it, it is something which should be established in that direction. Right. So actually, the project was really good, yeah. but yeah. the biodegradable aspect was was not at all. So okay. you know, quite interesting. Dr. Ranjana Kumari, literature. Yes, I think this was a very interesting category that not only the writers, I write, therefore I am. Nominee Anuradha yes. Roy and also Ruby Hembom. Now, Ruby is uh, collecting all kinds of tribal stories and uh, putting them all together. I mean, this is something which is also very unique because this knowledge is getting lost. We are getting into all kinds of, you know, different kinds of literature and we don't know what our indigenous people's literature were. So this is, this was, I mean, this is quite outstanding. I mean, business and entrepreneurship, uh, sir, we've been actually awarding uh, from the very beginning and I have to tell you, they have some of the most uh, uh, capable women uh, in, in this category and it's they're very strong because I, I like you said it's uh, known to be male dominated and uh, you know sometimes women feel like they need to be a certain type of woman to kind of uh, do well here but uh, we were very surprised that a lot of the women uh, like I can see Patricia Narayan and all they are very uh, they're innovative with their being themselves as well in their comfort zone as well which I think is quite outstanding so they are trying to create a woman's world as opposed to trying to enter a man's world and trying to get into that space. I, I think it's very cool. But there's also this whole challenge which we did discuss is that in this area in particular, yeah. business and entrepreneurship, when men are ambitious yeah. and aggressive, that's seen as a huge positive yes, attitude. Yes, absolutely. So yeah. venture capitalists love that. Yes. They love to fund people yes. like that. When women do the same, there's a very different reaction. And so very often, it's much harder for women because they, they're supposed to achieve the same result. I'm, my sister went through it. She yeah. was 21 when she produced her first film. Yeah. And uh, my father, unfortunately, was not here. He was uh, in um, America shooting uh, uh, for, you know, he was shooting in Hollywood. And uh, my sister had such trouble getting finance for the films because, uh, you know, they were like, she's 21. You know, and we had an outstanding script and we yeah. had something that was completely different. But even though, you know, everybody thinks that we come from a certain family and it's easier. In fact, it gets tougher uh, because people don't want to invest money. First of all, in the first of all, she was a woman. She was 21, even though she was in Stern and she came back and, yeah. you know, she's extremely capable and we had some amazing things. But she was really, really judged for being mm -hmm. a woman. and. I mean, if it was a 22-year or 23-year-old man, it would have been completely different. It would have been much easier. Yeah, no, and this, is, and there's a reason, there's a reason why this is, it's very important to celebrate this category. Yes. And the reason is that you need a lot of precedents. So you must recognize, so for example, go back 20 years, if you were an Indian in Silicon Valley, you didn't get funded. Yes. There were no precedents. People said, you know, Indian entrepreneur, <coughs> today, if you have an Indian in your team, you may be American. If you have an Indian, you're in a team, it's much easier to get funded because there's so many success stories. We need to do that for women yes. in entrepreneurship because yes. the fact is you have lots of good women. But she has proved herself. But they, and they suffer. Yeah. Mr. Shwai, I just wanted to ask you that with this entire focus on startup India and entrepreneurship and the Indian Angel Network, is it becoming easier? Is there, is there deliberate focus now on encouraging women entrepreneurs? Because that could make a massive change very soon. You know, this whole startup India thing that we've unleashed, this can be a real game changer. Because let me tell you a fact that's not well known. The only country where they've done analysis of this is in the US. And they found that from 1977 till today, except for seven years in between, all net new job growth came from startups, wow. not from large businesses. So when you look at India and say we have to do 10 million jobs a year, 
the only place is going to come is startups. Yeah. So this focus is needed. Right. It's very welcome, and I think it'll be a game changer. All right, great. So final category, and soon I'm going to I'll get you to. And this is, of course, a place where women have been making an impact and a very public impact for decades, right? Yes. We still know PT Usha before that. So the nominees in sports. Um, okay, so the nominees of sports are Deborah Herald, Pavi, uh, Pavlio Busamatri. I hope I got her name right. Uh, Basumatri, uh, Deepa Malik, Oinam Bembem Devi. I hope I got your names right. Um, so these are the four women who have been nominated. Um, you were saying that women have been quite public. I just feel sports in India in general, whether it's women or men, I don't think there is enough um, recognition. I don't. I, be, I mean, we're we're a huge country with a ridiculous population, and I think sports, besides cricket, I don't see any sports being relevant. Although it's right starting now. to slowly change. But I mean, really, you know, really, really slowly. In some areas, I think so many are Sanya, 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 Sanya. There is almost no attention paid to sport, uh, sport as a field. Yeah. So there is not enough investment in it, whether in terms of time, attention, but or money. I think the point I'm trying to make is that in, in, in sports, you do have female sports icons. Sanya Mirza, Saina Nehwal, P.T. Usha, they have been sports icons. Mm -hmm. It's and beginning. That's, that, that's, that's, no, it's beginning, it's but important. what Sonam Singh is, has a point that we need to pay more attention on sports per se as, it, as, as, a, yeah, as, as a focus I of attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I even though in, in, when we chose the sports uh, categories, uh, Sonam, must share with you that they are unusual fields. Yeah. One is a cyclist, Cycling. one is a football player, one is uh, a... Like I said, we, we are a lot of people. <laughs> we have all kinds of people. I'm just... I don't understand. I'm sure that there are lots of talented athletes out there that are not getting the chance and the opportunity to be because sports requires a lot of money to excel in the field of sports mm. and my request is uh, people who are giving away money for good deeds I think you all should invest in sports because honestly being a sportsman or a sportswoman encourages yeah. a lot of uh, good qualities in human beings you know, mm -hmm. uh, sportsmanship so, and com comp co healthy competition. Yes, absolutely. But so yeah. the, the film world is also doing a bit about it. Bhag Milka Bhag, etc. Yeah, yeah. You know, you actually other, developing. Other sports-based films uh, yeah. which are now starting to come. Mary Com, you know, and, and films like that. Just wanted to, you know, I tell all members of the jury, I think one of the things that's really great, and I guess this is part of what um, online. Is it only online right yes, now? It's, it's online. online. online yeah. So vote online. My request is that you all go and vote for women's rights. Please vote. Uh, it's very, very, very important because these women need encouragement. They are only improving our society and they are only improving our quality of life. So please do that. Thank you. All right, so that voting is going to be up next, but Swaram, there's something we want you to unveil on that oh. corner of the... I love this part. Stage. Awards? It's yeah, exciting. This is what the award looks like, so come. Uh, Jury, we'll just stay on. We'll just get the award back here and maybe have a, have a photo up, but let's just...
on TV in particular. Thank you so much. Remember, those voting platforms are going to be open very soon. So do get on there and vote to find the winners in this. And it's going to be a really, really tough choice. So ndtv.com slash women of birth. Do log on there. You can also vote on the app, Facebook, all sorts of places. Do log on. Bye. All right. We can now take some questions. So let me just sit down for two more minutes. Yeah. Trees uh, for coming up with such a great initiative, uh, which you are calling a philanthropic uh, initiative, which is called uh, Women of Worth. So I've got uh, two questions. I think uh, should ask with Sonam first. Uh, Sonam, since uh, this event is related to women, uh, and India is an emerging country in the world. Uh, uh, few days back, darling, it's emerged. Yeah, yeah, sorry, it's emerged. Okay. So, few days back, there uh, an incident took place in Bangalore. Yes. A Tanzanian woman yes, was, was uh, she, yeah, she was uh, stripped and she was uh, uh, beaten and she was uh, um, uh, walked naked on the road. So, Mr. Arnav Goswami, he says that this incident proves that India is uh, getting racist and uh, intolerant country. What What do you like to say on this? What would I like to say? Um, I think uh, racism exists all over the world. I don't think it's specific to India, but the reason education has always been my favorite uh, category is because education and literacy is something that makes people aware and less ignorant and uh, makes people make decisions which are a little more thoughtful as opposed to uh, behaving like hooligans and people with no uh, and, and you know behaving jungly, I think if I, I might use this very crude word. Uh, okay, sorry, it's a very crude word. I shouldn't say, but very, it's a, it's a, it's a colloquial term that we use. But it was a very badly done thing. But I'm, I do not think it's specific to India. Yeah. Racism and intolerance is not specific to India. It's, uh, it's something that is uh, across the globe. Yeah. So I don't think we should uh, kind of say that it's only Indians who are like that. I've faced racism in the world all over, so it's fine. All right, somebody else? Uh, hi, Manshi, my question is to you. So this is the fifth edition of Women of Word this year. So how is it different this year, or bigger? What are your plans? How, how do you make so, it different? Uh, two things, I think that... Uh, how? Nija. <laughs> uh, well, yes, she was an ordinary girl who did something extraordinary because she decided that she wanted to do her duty. Uh, she's the youngest recipient of the Ashok Chakra. And uh, she was a woman of worth. Unfortunately, at the age of, before she could turn 23, two days before she could turn 23, she sacrificed her life uh, in uh, trying to help other people. Yes, so she most definitely was a woman of worth. Hi, right. Mansi, this side. My question is that the ladies who will be winner, what will they get the platform milega. तो actually ये जो platform है ये recognition का platform है तो आप आप अगर digital media पे जब आप online voting करते हो तो बहुत लोगों को पता चलता है और अब हम सुबह ही discuss कर रहे थे कि आज का हम सोचते हैं कि youth सारा time Facebook पे WhatsApp पे है लेकिन last two years I have noticed that जब भी ये awards होते हैं तो बहुत interaction और engagement होता है online and lot of people come forward to debate to vote you know uh, and to establish support. So it's great for people who win and even for people who are just nominated. Because unko ek recognition ka platform milta hai or in the past there have been many uh, you know stalwart winners. Chetna Gala Sinha was one of our winners. Unhone India mein micro lending uh, pehle establish kiya tha. Aur uh, unke apne words mein uh, ye, ye award ne unko bahut protsahan diya. Uh, funds bhi milte hain kuch uh, you know kuch initiatives ko. So I think uh, this is a good platform for them. Last, next couple of questions. Okay, gentlemen, there you are. Credible. Why is it credible? Um, I, I have to be very honest. Uh, Oops. Phones are silent, please. Yeah, <laughs> I keep saying that. I just switched it back on. Yeah. <laughs> um, the reason this is credible, number one, is because these nominations have nothing to do with entertainment at this point, except for the field of art. I, 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 I think you're talking about our other award functions which are not related to this. Women of Worth, we've been doing for five last, this is the fifth year that we've been doing the, uh, these awards. Um, the nominations are very strict. 
uh, number one. I'm sure that they had, like I said, a very enthusiastic discussion about who the nominees will be. Uh, the voting is also uh, going to be public, um, so it'll be for everybody to see. And uh, there is credibility in recognizing women who are doing, who are unrecognized, who are unsung. And this is to do that. This is not to, again, like uh, uh, we just mentioned, it is not to already uh, give more credit to heroes who have already gotten credit for what they've been doing. This is for unsung heroes who are doing so much for society. There's a lot of credibility and a lot of thought and a lot of care with which we uh, showcase these awards. This has nothing to do with me being Sonam Kapoor, L'Oreal brand ambassador, or Manishi being a part of the L'Oreal family. It has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with nominating and uh, showcasing women of worth. And that is what I stand for. I feel this is what L'Oreal also stands for. And I'm sure this is also what NDTV stands for. So there is a lot of credibility and a lot of thought that has gone behind these awards. So we've been, we've been doing a lot of work in many of these areas. Take on it. I have a very controversial take on it. So I don't know if I should uh, talk about it right now. I don't know if it's relevant to uh, what we're talking about. All I know is that I do not work with people who do not respect me enough to give me my worth. Uh, that has always been my stand. That's why I always work with uh, directors and producers and companies who give me what I deserve and who give me that respect. Otherwise, I always take a stand and I choose not to work with them. Um, but everybody does not have uh, that, that luxury. So um, I am not the right person to answer that question. But I definitely believe that there is pay disparity. And uh, it's up to you whether you want to indulge it or not. All right. Thank you all so much for having joined us. And uh, the list of nominees will be available, of course.